okay back to home page and uh, after selecting Taylor method actually it takes me somewhere else but I, I decided to come here to show you now notice here in the middle it shows that we are still at stage zero because we haven't done any work yet on the life cycle management and notice now we have number seven here so they are in this tailored method that we selected if you remember we selected a small simple method and that includes seven stages okay so that is it shows that we are stage zero still and there are seven stages on this project and the last stage gate approved is zero and here we have the schedule performance we still haven't done any work so it's stay gray in the future this could be orange green or red and we have the dollar sign also this is about performance so these are like a quick flag to show us how the project is performance if it's gray that means we don't have any plan information yet so we cannot there we cannot assess any performance information yet if i click on this one here it take me to this home screen for managing the project remember we are in the project setup right so we can still edit the project the project is activated we selected a tailored method next we have the performance frequency remember we mentioned this earlier this is about performance chart how frequently you want the performance chart to be updated how frequently are you going to report on your project to internally and to your management so that will take you to the communication management module Right. Now I can skip all of that. We will discuss this in a future discussion in, in, the present, in the videos dedicated to the communication management module, which we are rebuilding. Right. But for now, what we go, it's going to go straight down to the bottom. And this is basically go down to the last field, reporting period. How often you want to report? Right. Daily, weekly, bi-weekly. You might be working on a critical project that is a month long and you want to report daily. That's a choice. Right. Usually, if you don't if you don't select this, the system will default to monthly. But let's say we want to do weekly report. Then it asks you the question: When is the end of the week? Right? Uh, because obviously, in some places, the end of the week is a Thursday. In other places, the end of the week may be a Saturday. In most of the Western world, the end of the week is a Friday. So you can select what day is the end of the week, the end of the working week. Right. So it's a Friday, and so that means usually you would report every Friday. And then we can save this, right, and success. So now if I go back to the home page, project management, project setup, you would notice now all of these. Uh, it's asking me, it's like it doesn't recognize where I am. It thinks that I want to start a new project. So what do I do now? I want to go work on this project. So I can go to PLC management. And now I have one project and you can see the PLC management here. I, I will not go through it. This is a separate topic we will discuss in another video.